Hi everyone, it's Jen Ringgold, Director of Educational Ministries at the United Church of Christ Midland. As many of you know, this past Wednesday, April 22nd, was Earth Day. This year is extra special because it was the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. 50 years ago, in 1970, 20 million Americans participated in activism on the very first Earth Day. 20 years later, in 1990, Earth Day had transformed into a global effort. And 50 years later, Earth Day is now recognized as the planet's largest civic event. We are still working every day on new ways to inspire others to take better care of our one and only planet and home. This week, as I've been thinking about what I wanted to share with you, the word resilience kept popping into my brain. According to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, resilience is the ability to recover from or adjust to misfortune or change. As we struggle through extended recommendations to stay at home and stay safe, we know that resilience is what is going to be necessary on the other side of this. We build resilience in our neighbors by making sure they feel cared for, supported, and loved. It's the same with children. And I believe the same is true for our Earth. One of the wildly positive things that we have seen during this global pandemic is that the planet has taken an opportunity during this time where humans have drastically reduced their work and movement to show just how resilient Earth can be. In just six short weeks, new scientific data shows there's a huge global fall in air pollution. NASA has reported a 30% decrease in air pollution over the Northeast United States, and other studies have found a similar decrease in China and decreases of over 50% in areas of Europe. While I know our global economy cannot sustain this drastic drop in moving around and manufacturing and business and school, it is striking to notice how quickly the Earth notices a global effort that loves, supports, and cares for creation. Every day, there are so many ways that we can continue to love, support, and care for the Earth. Today, I'm going to share a scholastic book with you, written and illustrated by Melanie Walsh, called 10 Things I Can Do to Help My World. I want you to listen closely because I'm also challenging you to choose something from the book, do it, and take a picture or video of your actions to send to me. While I read, think of what sounds like the most fun habit for you to start building and start planning, okay? Ten Things I Can Do to Help My World by Melanie Walsh. I remember. to turn off the light when I leave the room. Turning off lights and using more efficient light bulbs saves valuable energy. I try to turn off the tap when I brush my teeth. Every time you do this, you save lots of water. I always throw my trash away. Putting garbage away keeps the world clean and safe. I will feed the birds in winter. Feeding the birds helps them get ready for nesting in the spring.
I use both sides of the paper. If everybody did this, it would greatly reduce the number of trees we use to make paper. I enjoy, oh, this sounds like fun. Making toys from things around the house. We can reuse lots of things before we throw them away. I like to walk, and this is to school, which we can't do right now, but avoiding car trips saves gas and cuts down on air pollution. I just talked about that, right? Walking is also good exercise. I can plant seeds and help them grow. Plants help keep the air clean and healthy. I help. Sort the recycling. I love these statistics. More than half our garbage can be recycled. It takes much less energy to recycle something than to replace it with something new. All because I love my world. Thanks for listening. Did you pick a challenge? Turning off the lights, planting some seeds, building a new toy out of things you already have at home? I can't wait to see all the ways you reduce, reuse, and recycle like what was suggested in the book. If I get enough pictures and video clips, I will create another creation celebration video just for you. There's this amazing organization called Interfaith Power and Light, which is a religious response to global warming with the hope of mobilizing bold and just actions toward climate change. They have designated the week surrounding Earth Day, April 17th through 26th this year, as Faith Climate Action Week. And they offered up this beautiful global prayer for Earth Day 2020. If you'll join with me, you can hold your hands out like this. We hold the earth. We hold everyone who suffers from storms and droughts intensified by climate change. We hold all species that suffer we hold world leaders delegated to make decisions for life. We pray the web of life may be mended through courageous actions to limit, limit carbon emissions. We pray for right actions, for adaptation and mitigation to help our already suffering earth community. We pray that love and wisdom might inspire individual actions and our actions as communities so that we may with integrity look into the eyes of all living beings and truthfully say we are doing our part to care for them and the future of the children may we transform us and our world with new steps towards life Amen. As we move forward each day, may we work to build resilience for all children, for our neighbors, and celebrate our beautiful earth by showing love, support, and care. Thank you.